Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 18.5 beta 2 and when it is going to get released. Also, apart from that, we have already discussed the release date, etc. on the previous video, but we are again going to get a follow up and how has been my experience using the iOS 18.5 beta 1 on my device. Been a while that we have received iOS 18.5 beta 1. Why Apple has not yet released the iOS 18.5 beta 2? I'm going to answer all of these questions in this video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Jay. You are watching Tech Hype. Let's get right in today's video the number one thing that we are going to talk about is battery optimization and battery intelligence the battery intelligence is one of the features which is highly anticipated on the ios 18.5 and the answer is will we see this on ios 18.5 beta 2 the answer is most likely no because ios 18.5 will probably get uh, beta 3 4 and then the rc so in total four betas of ios 18.5 and then the rc and then after one week we will see the public release of ios 18.5 so everything if we bog it down to a timeline we are going to see ios 18.5 to public by next month first week it means first week of may battery optimization and battery intelligence features are most likely to come and is expected to arrive on the last beta or the rc version basically when it is going to get released to public just right before that pretty sure that we are not going to see it on the beta 2 in general the battery performance of ios 18.5 seems to be pretty decent it is nothing amazing of course it is a beta update so don't have high expectations from it but still if you are planning on installing it on your device if you have one laying around just install it on that i would never recommend anyone to install a beta version on your primary device but still it is pretty stable and the battery life is pretty decent so if you are thinking about installing it on your device you can actually go ahead and install it but again you should not on your primary device just do it on your own risk and uh, not gonna lie it is not worth installing this update because as we know that ios 18.5 beta 1 right now we don't have any new features or anything uh, enticing enough to update so you should probably stay on the ios 18.4 only in terms of stability the ios 18.5 is pretty stable i haven't encountered any major bugs or issues as such but uh, one of my subscriber actually sent me a message on twitter that uh, they were having some issues and uh, they were the their iphone 13 was getting restarted again and again uh like at least once or twice in their whole day it was just randomly shutting down and they had to restart their device so that was an issue on ios 18.5 beta 1 but uh, i haven't really encountered any issues or any bugs like that if you have let me know down in comments below well, that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video till the end this was a quick one i will come up with more videos like these peace out and have a great day everyone make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already